How many? You knew that you had to fight. The question is, how long you know that he will fight uh, for Williams? Well, how long did he train for this fight? He actually, actually had, to, he had a full training camp, and, and, and the reason for that was. Um, no. No, no, he had a full training camp. Two and months. Two months. Eight, eight, and the eight, eight, month and a half. Eight weeks. Eight weeks. He, he, we were going, frankly, we never believed Kelly Pavlik was getting in the ring with Paul Williams. Smart man. <laughs> we never believed it. We thought it was bullshit, it was a lie. No, no, he had the balls, but he's smart. Right. So Congratulations. We, and we and, and based upon that we had we had um, Sergio prepared to fight tonight against the lefty just in case. So he sparred, he had a full camp with lefty sparring with the knowledge that the this fight might materialize. So I, I need to add something. Well, and I'm in the eight I'm weeks when he started training camp, I say train for Paul Williams. Because that it will be the fight. So he, he, he came and he started to train and he had a picture of Paul Williams in his home and he knows that he will fight two months ago, Paul Williams, because I knew it, that that fight, it would not happen. And the other guy is very smart. That, that, that was one of the disadvantages Probably. from, uh, from uh, uh, Paul's end because obviously he was training for a right-hander and we were originally looking at September, then it went to October 3rd and then December uh, 5th, today's date, and obviously you have your ups and downs when you're training for a fight, it gets postponed, it knocks off the uh, rhythm of training, and uh, I think we saw a little of that uh, in, in, uh, in the first few rounds with Paul. He just didn't have his rhythm going as he normally does. So Sergio really had a very smooth training camp compared to what we were up against trying to uh, uh, you know. Well, he was training obviously for a September, uh, uh, October 3rd fight. Originally, I think it was going to be September 25th and then uh, uh, tailed into. Uh, but he was, you know, well, uh, obviously after the second cancellation or the, uh, the December 5th cancellation is when we had to switch the whole training camp around to fighting a left hander. So he was. No, no, he had about three and a half weeks. If he was smart, he had eight weeks, that's it. You know that he would never fight. You say that he would never fight probably with you. And that is a well, fact. And, and by the way, when, when we had to train as if he was, and that's why we had the safety net with uh, Martinez underneath. Look, both guys had enough time. Exactly. Yeah, when, when it wasn't an issue. You saw this. When and, and by the way, you saw a razor thin margin between the two best guys out there. That's what you saw yeah. tonight. When, and, 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 and frankly, a fight like a Gaddy Ward kind of war fought at a, a skill level. Of, of two of the best guys in the world. They so were it was a privilege to be involved with this fight. And, and, that, and Dan, I thank you also for the opportunity because it was a privilege. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? Uh, let me make a statement right now. Paul did have some nasty cuts on both eyes, and uh, I've just been informed that he's going to go to the hospital and have, uh, have some plastic surgery done on him uh, right away. So, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, that's another testament to these two fighters. I mean, you saw Sergio's face, how it was marked up with the uh, the shots he was taking. He, looks, he still looks pretty pretty to me, though. Hey, I... Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No. Dan, will you make a uh, rematch of HBO A's award? Well, look, I mean, it was a great fight. I mean, it's, uh, right now what I want to do is, is get through tonight and then get together with all, you know, with everyone on, you know, with Paul and George and, uh, and Al and discuss what we want to do in the future. Obviously, it is a great, fu great fight for a rematch. Uh, it's a tough fight. Uh, you know, for the last year and a half, we've been out there trying to get either Mosley or Hopkins in the ring. We've been trying for, for the longest period of time. Obviously, Mosley's out of the picture now. He's fighting lose fighter Berto uh, at the uh, first of the year. So, uh, uh, you know, a, a fight that we'd love to have is Bernard Hopkins. Obviously, Sergio fits in that picture, and you know darn well they're going to have to do it again. We got no, the fight is going to happen again. It's inevitable, obviously. There's going to be public demand, and it's too good a fight not to happen again. But if, if they, can, they can retire Hopkins and he can knock out Pavlik, it'd be a beautiful world.
So yeah, and if that happens, you do either. <laughs> no, I don't think Kyle's going to fight either one of us, frankly, because he's going to get his ass kicked. But but you know, at some point, he has to step up and fight somebody. He does. Because Miguel Espino ain't going to cut it anymore. Very much. Well, forget Pavlik. You know, these guys are so far past Pavlik right now. I mean, Pavlik has lost his luster. I mean, if you notice tonight, I mean, the fans were out there cheering this fight on as if they were uh, home to homegrown kids. Yes. Well, uh, two reasons. One is that uh, the original public fight was scheduled out here in Atlantic City. Staples and Home Depot Center and uh, 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 another arena, Citizens Business Bank uh, Arena in uh, Riverside were all booked. So uh, we did have other offers uh, in California at Indian casinos, but uh, I've had a relationship with uh, Ken Condon with, uh, with uh, Bally's Caesars, and one of our uh, good friends uh, runs one of the casinos, I like, runs the casinos out here, and it's, it was a great opportunity to come out. As I mentioned earlier, we've done a lot of shows out here in the 90s, uh, to come out here, I, I think it was a great move because uh, when Ariola was out there fighting, you, you could hear the fans cheering him on. And when Paul was introduced, again, it was as if he grew up here. And, and I said going into this uh, event that uh, I, I wanted to make Paul a staple out here in, on the East Coast, and I, I believe this fight uh, 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 guaranteed that. So that was the strategy. Just it was just, them, uh, well, exactly. Exactly. This is the post guy era in Atlantic City. This is a great, great fight. Yeah, exactly. And I think, you know, people respond here to great fights. This was a great card up and down. The, the Thompson Witherspoon fight, you know, Quintana. This was a great, this was sort of what we have to do more of to, to compete with with MMA where there are deep undercards. Because if you came here early, if you came here early, you saw great fights. And when we put on a great show, Bob, you know, MMA and that crap can't compete with us. Stop mentioning MMA. I can't stand it when it's at our press conferences, okay? Because we had such a great show. There's uh, there's no MMA fight that could compare to what That's we had That's 100% tonight, the point. Okay? What we have to do is exactly what you did but tonight. And we, we just keep tonight. on doing it, Lou. That's it. We don't have to start talking about MMA because, you know, What's that? It's over in eight seconds. Yeah, yeah. Well, tonight you had you, you had you had great action. If you can't well, so did you, because a few of them were your fighters. Yes, Lev. Uh, Paul uh, had some bad cuts on uh, you know right over here in his uh, eyelid on both sides, so you know it was deep enough where we wanted to get attention on it immediately. Uh, plastic surgeon they've contacted to uh, stitch him up. I don't know which hospital I uh probably like Yes. Sergio, ¿cómo se siente pelear en una en una pelea del año en un escenario como HBO? Un momento. Uh, how you feel uh, this this uh, in a fight like like this one, the fight most likely of the year in a big scenario like this one? Me siento muy orgulloso como persona, como deportista, como argentino. Y como latino, me siento muy orgulloso. I'm very proud. He's a fighter, he's an Argentinian, he's a latino. I'm very proud of myself.